using iSupport to get feedback from your customers. iSupport includes several features that you can use to get feedback from your customers. The primary feature is iSupport's survey functionality, which enables you to define and send questionnaires. Surveys are shown on MySupport via the Notification Center. The counter will increment when a portal user has a pending survey. Send survey requests from the Incident and Customer Profile screens via the Survey icon. You can also send survey requests automatically on a categorization basis, closed incident count basis, or customer count basis. Send survey requests from the desktop via the Send Survey option on the Actions menu in the Desktop View component. You can use Desktop Views to access submitted surveys, change the status if needed, and complete follow-up questions. To get started with configuring surveys, enable survey functionality on the Enable Features tab in the Feature Basics screen. Set up surveys via the Survey section in Feature Basics. Survey questions can utilize checkboxes, radio buttons, text, and date and time fields. You can require responses for a question. Rep follow-up questions provide a way for support representatives to describe actions that will address survey responses. Select Create on the Surveys tab to create a survey definition consisting of distribution options, survey questions, and notification and expiration settings. Use the Details tab to associate a rule group, set an expiration date, and more. Use the Distribution tab to enable the survey to be sent when an incident has a specified category or on an interval basis. You can also specify availability and configure a notification that can include incident data values and a URL link to the survey. Use the Questions tab to add and create questions that will be included on the survey. Use the Rep Follow-up tab to add and create Rep Follow-up questions for the survey. Use the Incident Fields tab to include data values from incident fields at the top or bottom of the survey. If distributing surveys automatically, enable the Survey Agent. To stop automatic distribution of all active surveys, disable the Survey Agent. You can use survey rules to perform actions when conditions are met. You can automatically change the status to closed, set a value for a follow-up question, and send notifications via email or the desktop. In this example, a notification will be sent if a user answered yes to a specified question. Another way to get feedback from customers is through a single selection question with image links in a notification. The feedback question and response will be included in the feedback field on a work item. You can configure the question, response choice text, optional images, and submission text. You can get feedback from multiple customers and support representatives through iSupport's Discussion Feed polling feature. You can also display poll type posts to support representatives using the iSupport desktop. Access to poll post creation can be restricted via a Discussion Feed's configuration settings. That's it for an overview of iSupport's feedback features. If you have questions, be sure to consult the online help. Our support team is available for a more in-depth walkthrough. Contact them by email at support at iSupport.com and by phone at 360-397-1099, 6am to 5pm PST, Monday through Friday, and 8am to 5pm PST, Saturdays and Sundays, for critical system failures such as installation errors, inability to log in, and inability to create work items. You can also go to mysupport.isupport.com, iSupport Software's technical support website, to chat with support representatives, submit and view incidents, search the knowledge base, view facts, submit ideas, and participate in the user discussion forums.